friends. Welcome back to Storytime with Mr. L. Today, I want to talk to you about a 2024 Newberry Honor winner. It is Simon Sort of Says by Aaron Bow. What a book. It's funny. It's sad. It's heart-wrenching. It brings out all the different feels and emotions you might get from reading a book. A few times I was close to tears. I laughed. It is one of those books that when you pick it up and you read it, every sitting, whether you read the whole thing in one sitting, whether you read it over a number of days, is going to be rewarding and you're going to feel this sense of, um, it's uplifting to read this book. And it's the story of Simon who has gone through a terrible tragedy in his life, which you do find out about. You don't have to wait for the whole book to find out what it is but it does come out sort of about a third of the way into the book. And Simon and his family have left Omaha, Nebraska, and they've left a town with internet, and they've left Google, and they've left all these things that have happened to Simon, and they've moved to Grin and Barrett, Nebraska. And his mom has bought Slaughter and Sons Funeral Home because she is an undertaker and drives a hearse, and they've got this scary peacock in the garden who they call Pretty Stabby because it's pretty but stabby. And Simon just wants to get back to living a normal life. He's in grade seven. He was homeschooled in grade six because of what happened in grade five. So grade seven, he's back at school, a very small school where everyone knows everyone. So he's the new kid. And he makes a couple of friends really quick. Agate, who is a funky goat farmer, chicken farmer. And Kevin, who's got green hair sometimes and purple hair sometimes. And they just like Simon for who he is. And it's this story of this year of seventh grade and Simon really trying to be a normal kid again. And the reason there's no internet in Grin and Barrett and no Google search is because Grin and Barrett is a town focused on searching into space for life. And so there's no microwaves, there's no computers, there's none of that there. And so Simon thinks he can kind of hide what's happened in the past. I love this book start to finish. It was fantastic. It, I listened to it as an audiobook instead of reading it um, on paper, as I do sometimes. I go back and forth with my books. And it's just one of those magical books with a story that just touched me. And, and I just, I felt it here. And I think you will too. And I think you should go out and read it if you haven't already. Simon Sort of Says by Aaron Bow. Happy reading, friends. Bye. Thank you.